differently and the learning that goes on here uh, is so intense, but in a good way because it really makes you think it's very thought provoking and it's very intellectually stimulating uh, and challenging, very, very challenging and I really like that. Um, so that's the that's going to leave the biggest impression to me. It's the first time I really went in depth into some Talmud learning and started just really asking questions, racking your brain that my head would hurt every day because I was thinking so hard and really challenging myself and I like that. When we go back to wherever we're going, the morality and the ethics are good, but what really is important on top of that is Torah. And without Torah, you're just, you're just a, you know, an ethical person. But with Torah, you're, you're a god. I think it's great to, to study a lot and study hard and then have opportunities like this to just ride around on the lake with newfound friends and, and share our ideas together. It's a nice, stimulating, relaxing environment to, to let our ideas flow. So uh, Lakewood Fellowship obviously has it down very well. They, they know how to plan. Responsibility plan for the statement that we can make inferences as such, to which the Gemara is going to come around and say, I understand the logical imperative in making such an inference. I just uh, got done the Lakewood Fellowship. Um, I think this is definitely one of the more memorable experiences I've ever had in my life. This is very, very interesting. I probably learned more valuable life lessons in this one week alone than I probably have in my four years of college. Yeah, I'd say that. <laughs> Thank you. This was a great trip. I had a great time. No Marocai, no Americai, no Lucy. We learned Gomorrah at the yeshiva, in the big room, full of guys, all studying. You know, hundreds of people in this room. It's a, a jaw-dropping experience. I've been on this program three times now, and... Um, after my first time, coming back for the, the second and third time, um, I, I, you know, I didn't know exactly what the shears were going to be when I came here. I knew they were all going to be different, you know, and uh, the Gemara was going to be different, but whatever, you know, everything that they brought us was going to be new, but I knew that leaving the program, I was, I was going to be inspired. The mentality and the hospitality, everyone here is just, they're so welcoming and they're so nice and it's such a wonderful community and they really they bring us like the greatest you know the best smartest speakers you know people like you know, Daniel Roth and and uh, Shalom Kamenetsky and uh, um, Dr. Lieberman all these guys like they're just they're phenomenal and to hear someone like that speak who knows so much about you know Torah and about the secular world and and <laughs> For the first time, um, I was so inspired by meeting other young guys 
like myself, coming from St. Louis, there isn't much diversity among uh, young Jews that come from a secular background that are growing more religious. And everybody, I, I took away, I'm like, you know, wow, there's, there's other people like me. I'm not the, I'm not the only one. And it was, uh, it was very special to experience. Being able to have all of these rabbis, people that are as intelligent as they are kind, as they are considerate, as they are welcoming. I'm very, very grateful. You know, very, I hope to come it's going to be hard for me to leave Lakewood. The learning, the level of knowledge of the Rebbeim um, that they, you know, tried to instill into us. It was just un unprecedented. The Gemara that we learned it was the first time I really learned Gemara um, from the actual text. And it was just such a positive, enlightening experience that I wouldn't trade this week for anything else in the world.